Oh hi! Welcome back to my channel. Wanna learn Danish? It's nice to see you. Velkommen tilbage til min kanal. Wanna learn Danish? Hvor er det dejligt at se dig igen. Today I want to talk about Danish slang. Danish slang is good to know. It kind of elevates your language when you are talking to a native Danish speaker. And even it's good for you to know because you might hear these phrases a lot. And sometimes with slang expressions, if you are not a native Danish speaker, you might think, oh, he is saying something negative. But it might actually be something really positive. So I already have one video with slang expressions uploaded. And since that video, I have been gathering some more expressions in my mind. And yes, today is the day where I'm going to share some more with you. Keep in mind that it is slang, so it's informal use and you use these phrases mostly with your friends, family or with people who are the same age as you are. Are you up for it? I am. Let's begin. Take a look at these slang expressions. Let me know in the comments if you have heard some of them or if you can guess what they mean. So the first expression I want to teach you is Krinan. Krinan. And here, pay attention to the pronunciation of the ending because the ending is something that will repeat itself in the other slang expressions. Krinan. Krinan. Grinan is another way of expressing that something is fun. For example, Ej, hvor grineren. Hey, du har lige været til et stand-up comedy show. Hvordan var komikeren? Han var total grineren. Han havde de sjoveste jokes. Hey, ved du hvad? Jeg har sådan lyst til at svømme. Ej, hvor grineren. Jeg tænkte lige på det samme. So, as you see, this slang can be used when something is hilarious or, for example, if it's a funny coincidence. And probably there are some more context that you will hear this in. But just remember, it is something that is funny. The next slang expression is Nidon. 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 It's a little bit hard to pronounce but with a little bit of practice, I am sure you'll be able to say it perfectly. So, nidan is derived from the word nid, down. So, from this word, are you perhaps able to figure out what this expression means? It is an expression that is used when something is a bit annoying, or for example, when you want to say, what a shame. It could be the equivalent to the English bummer. Ah, oh, bummer, man. For example, Jeg har lige tabt mit buskort. Ah, hvor ærgerligt. Det er nederen. Hey, din ven. Er han lidt, øh, er han lidt sur? Ja, han har været i dårligt humør hele dagen. Han er lidt nede. Hvorfor er han nede? Han har lige slået op med sin kæreste. Ah, hvor nederen. Hey, har du lyst til at komme med ud og spise? Ah, jeg har ikke lyst. Ej, kom nu. Lad nu være med at være så nederen. Lad nu være med at være så nederen. I'm pretty sure that you'll come across this expression sooner or later because it is an expression that a lot of people use. Next on my slang list is the expression stain on. Stain on. Stain on. And in the infinitive, et stain. The word stain, ein stain, actually means a stone. And maybe you'll be able to see the correlation between a stone and the expression. 
In English, you have something similar, but not quite the same. They have the expression to be a stoner. That expression is used to explain a person who is high on drugs, a person who is stoned. In Danish, it can be used in the same context when doing drugs, people can be stoned, but it doesn't have to be like that. In Danish, the slang encompasses so much more. It can mean to hang out and do absolutely nothing. Being unproductive, relaxing or chillaxing. It's something you do by yourself or with your friends when you're just killing time. It is also a way to describe that you are being a bit absent-minded, that you have wandering thoughts or maybe that you are daydreaming a little bit. Let me show you in the examples. It'll make sense. Hvad laver du? Jeg stener bare. Hey, hvor du hen? Hvad tænker du på? Ej, jeg, jeg stener bare. Hey, skal vi hænge ud sammen på fredag? Ja, hvorfor ikke? Hvad skal vi lave? Det er lige meget. Jeg har det. Vi kunne stene en Netflix-serie sammen. Helt sikkert. Hey Søren, har du lyst til at spille Playstation sammen? Nej, jeg kan ikke. Jeg må ikke for min far. Ej, hvor steneren. Next slang expression has something to do with food. Yes. In Danish, when something is really, really yummy and delicious, you can use the word froden, froden, froden. Frode means froth. You know, the white foamy froth that animals have around their mouth. So in that sense, you can see the correlation between having froth around your mouth and thinking that something is really delicious. It's so delicious that you have froth around your mouth and I don't know if it's the same as salivating, but you know, there's something happening here. You can use this, for example, when a person has prepared dinner for you. You can say, Ej, hvor ser det froderen ud? Ej, hvor ser det froderen ud? Or, for example, after eating the food, you can say, oh, Tak for mal. Det var så froderen. Det var så froderen. You can also say, Har du lyst til at prøve den nye thai restaurant? De har sikkert noget froderen med. De har sikkert noget froderen med. So guys, we've come to the end of this video, but actually I do have some more Danish slang for you that I have in my mind. So watch out for the next video with Danish slang. Before I say goodbye, let me know. Did you hear these expressions before? Did you find them funny? Did you find them weird? Do they make sense to you? Write it in the comments and if you found this video helpful, remember to give a like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time when I have a new video ready for you. Bye! P.S. If you didn't already know, I also have an Instagram awesome. account. On Instagram, I upload daily posts and stories. So if you want to engage more with me, Jump on over and add me. See you there. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, remember to comment, like, or share. Thank you, guys.